2023 was a banner year for EVs. More than 13.5 million units sold worldwide. It's a record total that was hard to conceive just a few years ago. But with supply chain concerns and attitudes towards EVs souring in some circles, where does the industry go from here? Look no further than Las Vegas for answers. This year's Consumer Electronics Show is giving us a glimpse at what consumers can expect to see in the future. Are people ready? I think there's a wide range of people out there. There's a wide range of customers, a wide range of uh, mindsets. Um, our job is to make sure that we can create something that is safe, reliable, desirable, right, and actually adds value to people's lives. Let's start with Honda, rolling out a pair of concept vehicles designed to be thinner and lighter. Now, let me introduce our new EV series, which represents the new mobility Honda dreams of. These models also sport a smaller, more powerful battery. Producing higher density batteries like these is key to Honda's goal of creating lighter weight EVs with benefits for drivers and the environment. The bulky batteries in electric vehicles make them much heavier than combustion engine cars. Take the Ford F-150 Lightning, for example. It weighs one and a half thousand pounds more than its gasoline counterpart. Now, Honda hasn't brought a lot of EVs to market, and these are different in that Honda's trying to keep them simple, small, pare them down, whereas a lot of EVs we see are bigger and taller and bulkier. So it's a really different direction from a lot of other EVs in the market. Lighter EVs create less pollution, have an improved range, are cheaper to build, and pose fewer potential safety risks on the road than vehicles which weigh more. It's not just weight being thrown around at CES, though, but also direction. Take this new EV that comes ready to walk from Hyundai. You can imagine that the car can drive in like a crab, the horizontally, or car can turn around in one space. I think it's the sickest thing for when you're at the McDonald's drive-thru and you're too far from the window and you got to do that awkward reach to like give them your money and grab the food, almost spill your drink. You don't got to do that anymore because it can crab walk to the left, which is sick. And for those looking for cheaper options, an SUV from Vietnamese automaker VinFast may come with a price point lower than $20,000. So something like the VM3, where you can, consumer can buy a very cute looking vehicles at the price of less than $20,000, like the dealership um, told us, is something that they think would, would sell very well. We also got a look at some of the commercial applications for electrified transportation. Kia introduced a series of vans that can swap out modules for quick conversion to pickup truck, taxi, or any other potential use you can dream up. With this high degree of modularization, what does that mean? We plan to expand use cases from people moving and delivery to urban-centric, real-time delivery and ride-sharing domains. Kia also announcing a collaboration with Uber to make EVs purpose-built for the ride-sharing app. As part of this initiative, the automaker and Uber plan to actively cooperate supplying charging infrastructure to help drivers making the switch. In addition to advancements surrounding EVs, the event featured developments in other types of alternative fuel vehicles. Hyundai spotlighted its plans for utilizing hydrogen in their cars, while automotive supplier Bosch Mobility announced plans to launch its first hydrogen combustion engine later this year.